So the front of this dress is a mermaid skirt. The back is a three-piece skirt. Whatever the designer was high on when he or her designed this dress, I want to be high on that thing when I'm designing my collection. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to go about cutting and sewing this gown. Are you excited? I know you are. Let's just go into the video, okay? Okay. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here i'm ada in today's episode of fabric friday i'm going to be showing you how to go about cutting and sewing this very gorgeous beautiful blue elegant dress and looking at this dress i'm just in love i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love i wish i had a party or a wedding to attend this will be the dress i will rock to that wedding like this week will eat like you know every week i always have like an obsession but for this week this is my obsession so this is a very beautiful gorgeous gown let's just start with the fabric here and i don't know but for some very funny reasons all the dresses i've been talking about here on fabric friday most of the fabric has been scuba fabric so this dress was made with a scuba fabric but not only a scuba fabric it was lined on the bustier the sleeve and some this belt design and some part of topper belt design the top part of the belt design was also lined with a lace fabric yeah it's a lace fabric it looks like a light net that has like a little design on it but to me it is a lace fabric tell me what you think in the comment section so let's just go into what other fabric fabrics can sew this dress you guys know when it comes to evening dresses a good variety of them can handle any style now one trick to nailing a style is getting the right fabric that can work with this kind of style so let's look at ankara fabrics you know satin duchess satin raw silk basically any fabric that can hold a style you don't want to sew this gown with a chiffon fabric or a silk fabric you don't want to do that you will just be trending on instagram as what i got versus what i ordered so please don't do that so i've gone through the fabrics that can you know sew this dress now the dress is divided into two parts you guys know that when it comes to sewing a dress i always tell you divide your clothes into parts when you're looking at it as a whole you might not get the whole like you might be confused on how they made the dress but if you take the dress in parts you realize that it's something that is very very simple to cut and to sew so this is a dress with a blouse and a mermaid skirt now the front of this dress is a, a, the front of the skirt part is a mermaid skirt the back is a three-piece skirt it's amazing because i know that the designer really wanted the hip line and the waistline of the model wearing this dress or whoever is going to wear the dress to be very emphasized and that is why the person went through the pain of making the front a mommy skirt and the back is a six like a three-piece skirt and looking at the back of this dress you notice that the hip and the waistline of the model was emphasized now this is the whole goal of this style now i've gone over to explaining the skirt the skirt is a mermaid in front three pieces behind i'm still going to come back to the trick to getting the skirt right now for the bust here which is like the blouse this is just like an off shoulder blouse i would have called this an off shoulder bust here but from the picture i have here i'm not seeing any cuts that is going from the top to the bottom of the bust here so i don't think it's a basic bust here from what i can see here neither am i seeing any cuts that went that moved from around the armhole down to you know beneath the bust point so i can't really call it a princess that bust here on this blouse what i think is happening here is they picked a basic blouse that you know there are some normally when we are sewing our darts if for the front part of our dresses if we don't want the if you just want to just you know give the dress a little shape we'll just pick like a normal dart but when you want to pick a dart bustier i think i have to do a tutorial on that let me let me know in the comment section if you guys want a tutorial on that when you want to put something a sort of like a bustier sort of like a core but not really cutting a bustier i don't know if you understand me then how you pick the dart so instead of picking like half an inch you go ahead to pick three quarter of an inch or one inch so when you're marking your dart 
this side will have one inch this side will have one inch that is already two inches so by the time you pick the dart you have like a cup like when you're done picking the dart it will form a cup already the way it will look like if you had cut a bust here so that is what i think happened here notwithstanding a basic bust here can still come into this blouse so as a princess that bust here they can still come into this blouse and you can see that the blouse before the blouse was made the cis, the lace fabric or the net fabric was laid on the blouse top stitch to the to the scuba fabric before they went ahead to pick the dart and before they went ahead to pick the dart you know join the sides of the gown and so on and so forth now this is an off shoulder sleeve as well and it's just very simple to cut okay just very simple to cut very simple to sew if you don't know how to cut a basic bust here i have a link in the description box of this particular video on how to go about cutting a basic bust here i also have a link in the description box of this post on how to cut a mermaid skirt and also how to cut a six pieces skirt because the back of this dress is a three pieces skirt and it's just the normal way you go about cutting a six pieces skirt but you cut it in three pieces do you understand so the the blouse of this dress after they cut the blouse Blouse. They went ahead to pick the dart. They picked the dart for the front part, pick the dart for the back part. Now, one thing I noticed for the back part is the dart, the back part had a dart running from the top to the bottom. So it might be that they just included the normal, you know, the way you cut your dart for the back part of the dress. You have to check out the video on how to cut a basic bust here. I showed how to cut the back part as well. So they just went ahead to insert the dart the way they normally insert it for like a basic bust here that is what they did for the back part but for the front part i'm not seeing any cut i'm not seeing any picking i just know there's a dart somewhere there now if you're looking at this dress from the front you might not really know there's a there is a a band on this dress but by the time you look at the side you will notice there's a band on this dress and this band is around two inches 2.5 inches and for the blouse you notice that the blouse stopped around the beneath the butt like around the under bust point or if it just went down it went down by one inch or 1.5 inches from what i am seeing here not up to two inches let me say it went down like the length of the blouse is 1.5 inches away from the under bust point for what i can see here let me know what you think in the comment section i don't think it's up to two inches but let's let's play hanky panky it's up to three inches but from here it looks like 1.5 inch so if you want to sew this gown you go ahead to cut your blouse cut your band which is around two two inches so you join the front part of the blouse to the back part of the blouse then you can see that we have a belt design here and this belt design was what really you know highlighted the bust and around the waistline of this blouse as well so this is a you know when you tie a bow tie how the remaining part of the belt looks like that is how the down part of this um, belt design looks like here I can see that for the top the, the shorter the shorter belt it was lined with the lace fabric that was used to emphasize the bust and the sleeve now after sewing your blouse you have to attach this sort of triangular folded triangular belt design to the upper part of the dress then you go ahead to join the band okay you attach the, the upper part of the belt to the bust here before you go ahead to attach the band and i know you are going to be like adao how do you cut this band how do you cut this belt rather you have to check this video this video will explain to you how to cut the belt
So now that is how to cut the belt and after cut that for the top part of the belt and down part of the belt you go ahead to cut your mermaid skirt now one thing to nailing this style if you want to nail this style you want to get this style mm, perfectly the parts where the flared started from for the mermaid skirt okay that should be the point where the flared started from for the mermaid skirt that should be the point where it should start from for the sixth for the three pieces skirt that is the back part so let me explain myself if the point where the flare diverted you know like for your mommy's skirt is straight before you go ahead to have the flare diversion if the point where the flare diversion for the mommy's skirt is at 14 as is at point 14 for the three pieces skirt which is the back the point where the diversion the flare diversion should start from should also be at point 14 I don't want to confuse you like just check out this video on how to cut go about cutting mommy skirt and the six pieces skirt to make sure you know everything is in sync okay, to cut the mommy skirt all i just did was i got a paper this is more like a paper illustration and i just cut out my working piece and i went ahead to measure out the portion I would need to form the skirt then I drew the width of the skirt I measured out the width of the skirt what I just want to show you here is how to make sure the flat point of both the mermaid skirt and the six pieces skirt to make sure they are in sync Yep. the length of this skirt is um, 16 inches so that you guys will really understand what I was trying to explain or what I am trying to explain so I marked it in 8 cm at the as the flared point like as a flared diversion point yeah so where we are going to like insert the flared is at 8 inches and I just went ahead to cut the mermaid skirt you guys know like cutting a mummy skirt is very simple i know you say oh you did not cut the hips see this is just an illustration okay <laughs> okay so this is the mummy skirt this is what it looks like we're just going to go ahead to replicate this for the six pieces skirt so i'm going to start with the center i know we guys you guys know that the center normally house the zip allowance so i just went ahead to cut the working piece for the center and i'm inserting my zip allowance allowance i don't know why my mouth is my tongue is turning in this particular voiceover <laughs> okay so you guys know okay for the for the measurements you need for the six pieces for the three pieces you first of all if your hips is 40 first of all divide by two 20 so 20 we go to the cutting of the mermaid skirt for the front then for the back part where you have like the remaining 20 you have to divide that 20 into 3 so that is what will give you the measurement of what you would divide the indi individual three pieces where you divide them into and if you want a detailed explanation on how to go about sewing the three pieces skirts just I have a link in my description box how to sew a mermaid skirt and how to sew a, a six species skirt rather so just check it out you understand how to manipulate your way through so i'm just going ahead to mark um what i need for each portion of the three pieces skirt Then I'm marking my flare diversion point again. My flare diversion point again at 8 inches. You guys now understand what I'm talking about, right? Because for the C species, for the mermaid skirt, I marked at 8 inches, 8 cm. For the C species, for the three pieces, I'm marking at um, 8 cm as well. So it's just, this is just like the very little trick to get the mermaid skirt and the C species skirt that's the flare diversion point for them to be in synchrony is it synchrony or synchronized synchrony okay to be synced to be as well aligned okay guys i'm out of grammar today just manage whatever i'm saying <laughs> okay so 
this is just it and i'm just going to fold the zip allowance in and i'm going to cut the remaining two pieces we need for the back part so this is what the middle looks like i'm going to cut the next piece and i'm just going to trace it through you guys know that this is a paper if it's a fabric we're still going to just pin it down and trace it through so that's what i'm doing here So I'm done cutting the three pieces for the back. This is what it looks like and I've joined them together. I just quickly took it over and joined it together. This is what we have here. Now to understand what I'm saying, when you want to sew, you will just align it. So because like the point already aligned when I was cutting, now that I want to sew this side together, you can see they are well aligned and this will make the style come out well and nice for both sides. Hope you understand. Now you've seen how to cut the mummy skirt and the six pieces skirt. I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, you join the top part of the belt design to the bust here. Now before you attach this mummy skirt to the bust to the blouse, what you go ahead to do is attach the remaining part of the belt design to the mummy to the skirt. Then you go ahead to sew the band. You know one side of the band is already joined to the blouse. So you sew the remaining part of the band, you join it to the mammoth skirt, go to the back side, add your zip, and ladies and gentlemen, that is how to go about cutting and sewing this gown. Amen? Amen. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them. Leave them in the comment section. I and other people will be willing to answer your questions and to clear you wherever you have doubts. If you are watching from Facebook, make video a like. Follow my page on Facebook as Stitch Address. If you are watching from YouTube, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Come back for more videos. I upload videos on this channel Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, okay? See you in the next. Bye!